Yo, what's good? This is Mogul Mind Podcast. Moment of knowledge. Today I want to talk about baby steps. Baby steps. Why baby steps? I always look at it like this, like they always say you got to crawl before you walk. But once you crawl, you don't just get up in full fledged, just dip off walking. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like to look at it like this. What's the most exciting moment that a parent gets to see sometimes, right? The first moment they see, the moment they don't want to miss. They don't want to be at work. They don't want to be out and about. They don't want to be on their phone. They want to catch that first baby step. But how do you even get to that first baby step? Well, obviously, you ain't gonna remember when you took your first baby step, but you've seen it happen. You crawled. You probably even tried to make yourself stand a couple times. Fell down. Then you got to a point to where you you were standing up and you you just kind of rocked a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You might even move your foot forward. You fell again. And it took a while for you to get back to that step to do that. But eventually you took that first step, which led to more steps, which led to sprints, which led to taking off for no reason, not knowing what's going, just the freedom of being able to move on your feet. That's life. But we're not taught to appreciate the baby step, the first step. Other people don't even appreciate it because they don't know what they're looking for. We're only taught to crawl, walk, run, fly. The transitions in between are power moments. Sometimes it's so hard to acknowledge what it takes to get towards your goal. When I um when I had got back in the gym like on my serious 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 tip as of recent, I wanted to try something different. I was doing assistant pull-ups all the time, like whatever. Um because it's part of a workout regimen. Then I was like, nah, I'm gonna do some full body pull-ups, chin-ups. I think they're the chin-ups one or the ones where you use your hands facing back towards you, whatever, that's irrelevant. Um, I sucked. <laughs> I ain't gonna even lie. I sucked. I did like one. No, no, no. I lied. I did a half or a quarter of one. But the assisted pull-ups though, with the weight against me, I kill it. I go back out like five, 10, 15, three sets of eight, however, whatever the case, however I was doing, I was with her killing it. But I was like, you know what? Somewhere in the middle of my workout set, I'm gonna go try that pull up. I'm gonna go try it. Nope. I got halfway this time. Nope. Yeah, a little over half. Nope. Down to a quarter. And there was this one time I did a whole one. I felt like I accomplished something. It was crazy. I was like, man, I I got a whole one done. But can you imagine the mindset of excitement for myself? Just like, yo, this is kind of dope. Versus sharing that with people. I did one chin up. That don't even sound like a lot to the average person who does five, 10 or can do it whenever, you know. But that one, it took a lot to get to that one. Nah, I probably do like three. Maybe do two and a half. Sometimes five Maybe I split them up Throughout my set And just kind of come back And kind of test tolerance I still do the assisted ones too Just to build my strength But the point is You've done that too And you never really Acknowledged it Because You weren't told It was okay To be happy With that level of growth And you measured You didn't measure for it You were so busy Measuring feet That you didn't measure inches 
at what point in life do you start accepting and applauding for yourself for the baby steps? Because you need to. You need to be okay with saying it's okay to have a starting point. It's okay to have an ending point. It's okay to be like, look, I'm getting there. I'm not there yet, but I'm a lot further than where I was. Just think about it. Think about your career. Think about your life. It goes everywhere. Think about education. You can kind of commute whatever. It doesn't matter. Not everybody went to college, right? But most people went to high school. So think about it. If you just mad you didn't graduate yet, that doesn't mean you don't appreciate your freshman year, your sophomore year, your junior year, your senior year. They're all separate years, but they're all progression. They're all different milestones. And even more of a microscope on it, you had certain teachers and certain semesters and quarters and you were impacted at different times in that situation. I read an article um, a couple months back and Steph Curry, if you don't follow basketball, most people know who Steph Curry is, but if you don't follow basketball, he's the top three point shooter in NBA history. He's on the Golden State Warriors. I'm not just saying this because I'm a Warriors fan or whatever, but he said, any three that hits the rim doesn't count while he's practicing. And it ain't even a matter of making it. He wants them to be swishes. That's a level of dedication. But he had to make that first three at one point. Then he had to test how far he could shoot threes. Then he had to test how many he could make in a row what part of the court he can shoot at. Could he shoot him running? Could he only shoot him standing still? Could he shoot it being passed to him? There's different levels of the things you're testing in your life. But baby steps is where it starts. You want to be great. Start with baby steps. What do you want to do? You want to be the best blank. Give yourself an execution and a way to that so you can measure that so that you don't feel like, hey, I'm not doing anything. It's so easy to look up in the middle of working and just feel like you are unaccomplished. The difference is, though, if you take a little closer look, you can see how far you've come. Don't ever shame yourself comparing yourself to someone else's journey. It will do nothing but hold you back. Anyway, some quick game, a little bit of gems for you. All I want to do is help you become better. And hopefully help somebody else become better. Y'all make sure y'all tune into the next episode. If it did something for you, you know how to get at me. At none underscore illo on everything. Um, y'all be good. <laughs>